Now, how do I get started this morning? Well, I already planned how I was going to get started. I wanted to explain something here to you. And uh, these new lenses that are being manufactured these days, the old, the old lenses, all they did was there was just a barrel that held the lens and you could, and a mechanism for focusing. These new ones, they're pretty sophisticated. They've got uh, vibration VR here, that, that stands for vibration reduction. That's what Nikon calls it. Canon probably calls it something else, Sony will call it something else, but it's the same thing. The idea is when you, when you turn it on, it helps stabilize the image mechanically. Uh, last few years they've come out with uh, electronic uh, or, or computerized stabilization, whereas the, there's, there's no moving parts, it's all done electronically. I, I know how it works, but I can't describe it. Um, anyway, that's, that's not what I'm having a problem with. What I'm having a problem with is the autofocus. It, the Nikon has probably one of the best autofocus systems going, and and it, when it's when it works, it works really well. Like uh, oh, two or three years ago, I on my uh, uh, telephoto lens, um, I found that I could take a, a, a sharper picture of the moon if if I let the camera do the focusing. It it, it focused on the moon better than I could. So, uh, yeah, the autofocus works really well. Now, this is my favorite lens. I, I am going somewhere with this. This is my favorite lens. I use this lens more, more than any other lens for the simple reason that I can focus in to about this close. If I was going to do Andy's uh, bender, I can move in approximately that close at 35 millimeter. This is a wide angle lens, by the way. It, it goes from 35 millimeter uh, and and, uh, and and widens out to 16 millimeter, which is pretty good. It's a little better than a 90 degree view, and and it's it's the view that you normally see in in the opening scene when I clunk the coffee cup down. Uh, right now the fisheye lens is on. And I know some people hate fisheye lens, but I, I I use it occasionally. It works. It works. Anyway, w I am going somewhere with this. Okay, so w when you want to when you want to focus manually, which I do almost all the time with uh, with most of my lenses. I just want to interrupt here because some people are probably wondering, well, if the autofocus works so great, why don't you use that? Well, here at the model table, usually what I'm doing is I'm trying to shoot something that is extremely small in the scene. And the camera will have a tendency to focus on the background. Even if I have the pinpoint focusing on, uh, some of the stuff I, f I focus on is extremely small in area. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I don't want the background sharp. I want the subject sharp. Except for that telephoto one when I was taking the pictures of the moon. Anyway, this is going somewhere. I hope. I, I have a really bad problem with getting off the subject lately, and I'm, I apologize for that. Where are we going here? Okay, so in order to focus manually, when you turn the focusing ring... It disengages the autofocus inside here, or at least it's supposed to. About a year ago, it kind of jammed up, and I found that that I could I could focus it manually by if I uh, only if I if I tapped on it. Yeah, you just to take something you know like you know and and tap on it as you were trying to. And that kind of, and then for about a year, it worked fine. Well, day before yesterday, it jammed up, and I thought this is it. It's it's not going to work. Well, I I've got it working again. As you can see here, if you watch the uh, the scale, okay. But what was happening before was the scale wasn't moving, and the the lens wasn't focusing, even though I was turning the ring. And the, the slip clutch was just not grabbing onto it. 
Now, I'm, I'm sure that there's somebody probably made a YouTube video where they showed how you could take this lens apart and fix that problem because if I've got this problem with this lens, probably so do other people. Anyway, um, <sighs> I did come back to the model table last night. Let's look at that. Here we go. Well, the sun came out later this afternoon. And it's turned out to be a beautiful evening. Beautiful evening. I should open the window so I can hear the birds tweeting. Speaking of birds, maybe I'll be able to get the bird feeder up tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, it looks to me like everything we need is on the B sheet. And we got some paint going on here. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like there's too much paint on the parts we need. I think that's the ladder that we need. Yeah, number 18. Um, did I say I'm not going to be painting the parts on the uh, fret anymore? Okay, I'm not going to make a big deal about this. I'm just going to get these parts here. Maybe I'm too tired to mess around with the macro lens. Yeah, I think that's all right. Now, this one here. Now, where's the other parts? Oh, this looks familiar. I'm pretty sure we need this thing right here. So let me check. Is it number two I need? Yeah, B2. Okay. It's okay, I know where it went. Right there. Okay, we need B3. Oh, I did open my windows. And then we needed, uh, what was it, number 12, I think it was, yeah, right here. Okay, number 12. This is for the, the other shackle. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stick this together. There, there is so much stuff that we... Okay, now I don't want to nip here. I want to nip right here. You know, it's not like there we don't have anything to do, right? Now, how do I uh, get this one here and be able to video it at the same time? Oh, who cares? Okay, I'm kind of doing this backwards to the way I normally do it. And uh, I want to remember that we... Uh, have to get the uh, the uh, pulley in there so maybe I should be doing this bend first there we go
go. Okay, I don't want to go all the way because I do want to get the pulley in. Alright, now we just pull it, pull it out a little ways to the next line. I think I more or less got it there. Whoops. And we will just go like that. Now, alright, where is the pulley? these tweezers will be better. Sorry about my fingers. Okay, I know where it went. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I'm going to do this one off camera. Sorry, folks. Okay, when I was able to use both hands and hold it down with one foot went a little bit better uh, you know I'm kidding about the one foot right okay um, now wait a minute I do believe we have to put a piece of photo etch in there that represents that represents a cable Okay, well, I guess I can almost take it apart. Rats. Yeah, you can clearly see this uh, piece of photo which has to go around before the uh, before it goes into the uh, bracket. Um, well, I guess we have to take it apart, don't we? You know what? I must be getting tired because I should have picked up on that. I think I'm going to uh, call it quits here for today, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and you know what they say about red skies in the morning. Sailors take warning. We're building a model ship. I guess we're a bunch of sailors. Anyway, yeah, looks like we might be getting rain later. And I do not want to be trying to crawl up a ladder to drill a hole under my eave if I'm going to have a wet, slippery ladder. Yeah, there's always another day. We'll just take it as it comes and hope for the best.
Well, I worked myself up a sweat here. I'm going to do something relaxing like editing some of this video out. Oh, by the way, it's not the door closer. It's the weather seal. Maybe some armor all on it or something like that lubricated. Yeah, I told you it was the uh, door closer that was squeaking. <laughs> not the door closer and it's not the hinges it's the weather seal and here in Winnipeg in the winter time boy do we need it anyway let me take a break well quite a bit of time has passed here as you can see since I started out at what was it eight nine o'clock this morning I probably spent at least two hours editing out those last two minutes of video. All those little clips, trying to get them in the right order, trying to get them to make sense. The uh, surveillance camera, when you take the, the video files out of the PVR, uh, what it gives them to you in, well, altogether there was 56 separate video files. You've got to try and blend them together. Of course, most of them you don't use, but uh, still, it, it takes quite a bit of time. Now, about the pizza. You're going to notice that the pizza, the slice, is a lot smaller than usual. Well, it's exactly half. I cut it in half last night and uh, saved half for, for this morning, or well, it's this afternoon now. And uh, the, other, the other half of the eighth, I guess it would be. In other words, it's a sixteenth of a pizza. <laughs> yeah, one sixteenth. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes. Now, um, I have, uh, well, one of the viewers uh, asked me something about my diet and I said I'd comment in today's video so I guess I'd better. Uh, I have lost more weight than that ladder weighs by quite a bit. I could not have done what you saw me do on the ladder a year ago today. And especially uh, at the beginning of February. I actually put on a little bit more weight since uh, a year ago today before I started my diet in February. Anyway, and enough about that. What I am finding more difficult now is uh, even though I am maintaining the same amount of calories per day on the average, the, the, uh, the weight loss per week is, is slowing down. It is going down. I'm probably not going to get to my goal by, by the uh, deadline of November the 2nd. Uh, but it's going to be pretty close and I will eventually get there. I'm not going to give up. I'm, I'm not discouraged by any means. Um, anyway, let's, let's see if we can uh, do something here with, with the model today, um, this afternoon. We've, we've still got almost two hours before I got to upload the final, the final video. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy this and, uh, Thanks for watching the uh, latter episode. Oh, we'll we'll work on the uh, birdhouse in the in the the birdhouse, the bird feeder, in uh, the uh, tomorrow's episode. Uh, I just don't feel like doing it any more on it today. Uh, you know, believe it or not, horsing around with that ladder, it, it, it kind of took it out of me. I feel okay. It just it, you know it's it's not like it used to be. Now, a moment ago, I was noticing that it was getting kind of, kind of cold in the house. And, uh, I looked out the window, and this is what I saw. So I had to close my windows, and, yeah, so the weatherman was right. Now, is this going to fall right through, or is it going to stand up there? Well, more or less stands up there. You know, I, I think that probably we'd be better off to uh, try and lay this over on its side. 
because we're going to want to try and glue it against this mass, the, the base of this mass somehow. I'll, I'll uh, reposition, put the macro lens on so we can see what's going on. Now this is my first try at it like this, laying down. So this may not work out the way I hope. Whoa. Now this whole thing has to go down. Slipping. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but the uh, the mast is not square in that uh, piece of foam. It's kind of Maybe I could get, uh, maybe the holder downer would work better here. <sighs> and then to make matters worse, I don't know how I did this because it happened so fast. But when I was trying to get the ladder in position, I broke the railing off. Now, you know what? I think maybe what I should do here is just go ahead and and we'll put the uh, glue the ladder onto the mast, and and then I'll put the railing back. Ah, oh. <laughs> this is part of the fun. I'm not upset. It's just part of the fun. Okay, this is a uh, CA thin. Uh, let's try not to bump anything here. Now, if we can position it with the holder downer. Ooh. This is so precarious here. Is it still in your vision? Let me check the monitor. Yeah, more or less. I don't know, I just... Maybe... Maybe what I should be doing is leaving the top of the ladder stuck up the manhole. Okay, press stop. Okay, we're going to use our little, our little wire applicator that we made up here. And we're just going to try and get a little bit down at the bottom here. Why is it that I always say a little bit and then I keep, I keep going for more here? 
Okay, I, I do believe that's already starting to adhere. So we're going to leave that. And uh, what do we got time-wise here? Okay, it's uh, about 22 minutes after 2. I'm going to call it quits for this video. Doesn't mean I'm not going to come at this again today. And if I do, well, we'll stick it on tomorrow's. That seems to be the norm lately. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.